so welcome to another INFJ ramble today's video is going to touch on why people hate you or why people love you and it's really simple it's very dependent on how much they love themselves or hate themselves um, I know hate is a really strong word but Let's face it, it exists. So anyhow, I was thinking about this because um, I was thinking about how like some people welcome me with open arms and you have to be careful with this because these people could be parasites. But the truly genuine and sincere people who love you probably have learned to love themselves to some form or degree and so you know if you emanate that feeling they welcome it because they've welcomed it within um, people who act abrasive towards you can come off as rude inconsiderate unkind granted you know like sometimes we have bad days or bad moments and are reacting to our emotions all that aside if they're um, normal disposition is to be lewd and crude and rude and inconsiderate and unkind, it's probably because they haven't learned to love themselves and they're projecting those feelings outside of them to you. And that's why I say nothing is personal. Um, it's a highly dependent. The interaction is highly dependent on the level of consciousness, awareness, and love that the opposing person gives to themselves. So instead of taking it personally or becoming reactive, you should definitely use it as a gauge, not only for them, but for yourself. So a gauge to see where they're at. You know what I mean? Because I feel like if somebody really truly loved themselves, they would not inflict harm upon you or themselves. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't tolerate abuse or um, disrespect. You know what I mean? Um, so you can use it as a gauge to see where the person you are interacting with is at. You can also use it as a gauge for yourself to see how much peace that you have or have been holding within you know because if you are steady and calm balanced and aligned most times um, people who are at war with themselves will not affect you um, if you have lost your sense of peace or are in some way shape or form imbalance or unaligned within yourself these things will affect you more deeply or more subtly depending on how much peace you are able to hold you know and it's important to I feel like um, cultivate this peace and this calmness within yourself because once you can master that you can move through the world unaffected and unreactive but anyhow, that was my little ditty on the love-hate and why some people are abrasive or they push you away or they become defensive or they're unable to accept your point of view. It's because they're fighting a war within themselves and then they're projecting that onto you. And then you have a choice to give them that space to be, um, speak up and say no walk away or you know I feel like if you've learned or you have um, how do I say because if you have found your voice and you're able to speak it um, that could definitely create huge shifts in consciousness with the person you're talking to but you have to do it from a place of peace because if you're doing it from a place to crucify or to 
like um, downplay someone else's feelings or thoughts, you know, you're just going to create more tension. So I'll give you an example. If someone is treating me unkindly, um, there's so many ways of looking at this, so many angles, and we are multidimensional. There's no one right way or wrong way. Um, you know, usually I'll either let it go, you know, and then let the, move, the person move along, or I remove myself, or if I feel comfortable with this person, I will outlet my feelings to them and I'll say hey you know I don't appreciate you talking to me like that and you know it's not okay and why are you doing that you know like and I'll, I've even told people like I feel like you're at war within yourself and you're projecting it upon me and it's not okay um, I've come to the conclusion that people who are heart-centered, we have a tendency to care and love, love, <laughs> and um, people who have not learned to love themselves yet, well, when they enter your presence, will become defensive, you know, they they fight love within themselves, so when love presents themselves to them um, in this material realm, they don't know what to do with it and so they inflict harm or push away or become defensive you know so I've come to the conclusion that it's not my responsibility to um, fix anyone or tell them how to live their lives um, but it is definitely my responsibility to create healthy boundaries and to teach people what I will or will not allow whether that be by verbally expressing it or walking away, you know, removing myself. And, um, yeah, you know, like, just keep being you, keep giving love to an extent. And then, you know, I think that's how we make shifts in the world, in this reality, you know, by being true and holding um, holding on to that energy, that, that love energy. I know that sounds so hippie, right? But it's true. And I've, I've built my life around it, love. But I, I noticed that I was giving it away to everyone else. And my, my bank account, my spiritual bank account was becoming very empty. And so after 17 long years, took me that long to figure it out, I decided to stop filling everyone else's account with my spiritual currency. And I started just kind of like bringing it back to myself. Um, I call it spiritual currency, really. Um, yeah, I had, it took me 17 years to empty my bank account and I had nothing left. And then once I realized um, why I had gone bankrupt, I stopped giving away to others and started refilling my bank account so that I could be full again and I could be whole and, you know, teach others to do the same, you know? Anyhow, I'm going to end this. Blessings to one and all. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful, beautiful night. Amen. Oops, not.